Hey guys, it's me, Drew. Welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title above, this is going to be a first sniffs of the Scentsy Scents of the Season collection, a very little haul, and a little Monday news announcement. So let's just get the news announcement out of the way. Monday, October 16th at 10 a.m. Pacific time, which is 1 a.m. Eastern time, Scentsy is launching two things. One, the Holiday Brick Collection, which if you did not see my video of the Holiday Bricks, they are beautiful. They're shaped like Christmas trees. And I think I'm going to do a two-pack of them um, on Monday with a launch of the Warmers too. But I think I want... I'm not 100%. I know I want another cozy kitchen because it's so pretty, but I don't know which other one I want. So we're debating. But anyway, I am so excited that Scentsy is doing this. They are doing these Blast from the Past collections. They did it in the fall with the Scarecrow, with the Tom the Turkey, and the little Halloween plug-in. They're doing the same thing for Christmas this Monday, October 16th. Straight from Scentsy, it says... Enjoy these holiday blasts from the past. As the holiday season approaches, we're bringing back beloved warmers for new Scentsy fans to enjoy and for longtime Scentsy fans to rediscover. Launching on October 16th, we have the Cardinal Warmer for $50. And as I'm talking about these, I'm going to insert pictures in the video. So we have the Cardinal Warmer for $50, which is this really pretty red Cardinal Element Warmer. The Happy Holidays Mini Warmer. Look at this warmer, you guys. I'm totally getting it. It is like, there's stripes, and it has like a little mug of cocoa with a candy cane. Obsessed. Then we have the Heavenly Warmer for $50, and that is like a porcelain ceramic warmer with the angels painted on it. It's really pretty. The Jolly Warmer, that has my name written all on it. It's a big, fat Santa belly with the black belt, the real bright lacquer uh, red, and then the white dish. And it looks like the white dish is even, like, embossed with something. I can't see, but I'm excited for that. And then the Special Delivery with Lights Warmer Lid. If you remember in my video, the white retro truck with a pumpkin lid, well, they're not launching a new truck, but they are launching the Christmas tree that has lights on it lid, so you actually can replace it, and it's in my bedroom, and I'm literally not gonna put it away. I'm just gonna switch the lid and put on the Christmas tree, and then boom, it's ready to go for the holidays, so... Super, super pretty. Those all launch on Monday, October 16th on my website or your consultant's website. So if you already have a consultant, awesome. If you don't and want to shop through me, I will leave my link down below. I'm so excited. These warmers are so pretty. I'm getting the Jolly Warmer, the Special Delivery with Lights, and the Happy Holidays Mini Warmer. So cute little $100. I'm definitely getting those. I That Jolly Warmer... It's just too cute. I'm actually re-looking at the pictures now on my laptop. So cute. All right. Before we dive into the Scentsy Scents of the Season collection that I just dropped all over the floor. Good thing I have a second box. I actually ordered two of these. So they will stay on the floor while I talk about <laughs> the second kit. All right. So... The most wonderful time of the year is almost here, and it's bringing magical holiday fragrances. The much-beloved Scents of the Season collection will be available starting November 1st. But as a consultant, I am able to order them early. So I was actually able to order these on October 1st. They just came in today, which is October 12th. So I decided... <gasps> I had to pick up two sets because if I'm doing them in my dining room, living room, kitchen area, I go through two bars anyway, and I knew I would like these scents, so I needed to pick them up. So these will retail for $6 a piece, or if you want for $25, you can get all five bundled in this cute little box on my website starting November 1st. Now, we have two brand new fragrances and three returning fragrances. So let's just dive in. 
The first one we have here is a returning fragrance, and that is Peppermint Rush. This was actually just out in a Bring Back My Bar a few rounds ago, so I actually still have a bar of that. And this is not my favorite peppermint. It's peppermint, sweet vanilla, and an accord of freshly fallen snow. It really is a toothpaste peppermint. I was actually watching Brett and Brad do their the first impressions of these, and it's so funny because Brett is like, oh, this is totally, like, not a toothpaste peppermint. Everybody, like, smells peppermints differently. And this just totally smells like toothpaste to me. Like, that really creamy white toothpaste. Not, like, the blue kind. Like, the yellow, the white kind. I don't know. But that's totally what this smells like. But I know so many people who love peppermint scents. So this will be right up their alley. I enjoy peppermint if it's blended with things. I don't necessarily like just straight up peppermint. And yeah, there's vanilla and freshly fallen snow in this one, but it's just not my favorite. Now, one that is everybody's favorite is Homestead Holiday in this awesome dark navy blue with a blue wax. Blood orange and cinnamon freshened by fur needle. And surprisingly, I really enjoy this. Christmas tree scents are not my favorite, but the blood orange in this is really toned down. If you're familiar with Sips of Cider from last year and that orange spice and everything nice that's in the holiday break this year, it's like very, very orange forward. And I enjoy citrus, but this blood orange mixed with the cinnamon and the fur needle is like quintessential holiday that's not a Christmas tree. It's really pretty. This is one I could see melting on Christmas Eve. You have your friends or family coming over. It's snowing outside. This is what I picture the house smelling like. Or when you're watching any Christmas movie and there's like a real, really sentimental scene in the movie, like they're in their living room opening presents, this is exactly what I think this smells like. Just a very quintessential, very comforting... Christmas fragrance. And like I said, the cinnamon and the orange are both not overpowering in this scent. So it's really pretty if you like those type of scents. Now this is returning. I've never smelled it, but I have a candle because I hear it smells just like this candle. If this smells just like this candle, I'm ordering a six pack and it's going in my club, no doubt. This is Sugar Plum Berry, and it's this fun purple color. A jolly brew of spiced citrus peels, evergreen berries, sugar plums, and cinnamon sticks. I have seen someone say that this smells like Nest Holiday. If you're familiar with Nest Holiday, this is the best Christmas candle ever, okay? I even have the Three Wick version. I had the jumbo ginam ginormous version as well, but I burned through that. These together, oh my god, I I don't pull this out except at Christmas. And like I this is the one candle I love at Christmas time. So I burn it a little bit and then I put it away for next year. And then the year that it's done, I will wait until it's on sale after Christmas and buy another one. So, you know, as soon as this is done, I will be buying another one and another one and another one. And because I have this new dining room table, I might buy a jumbo one because it is just that beautiful. The vessels are gorgeous. So let's read the notes and see how it compares. The aroma of a sparkling holiday season is blending pomegranate, mandarin orange, pine clove, cinnamon, and a hint of vanilla and amber. So not the same notes. We have cinnamon, we have citrus, we have pomegranate and orange, where we have citrus and sugar plum. All right. So I'm so familiar with this. Let's see. Oh my gosh. Okay. It's not 100%. It's not 100%. However, it's pretty darn close. This definitely is more berry plum, where this has a little more of that holiday essence and that, like, effervescent, sparkling, 
holiday scent, where this has more plump. I'm telling you, though, I will melt this while I burn this, and it'll be beautiful in my house. And this is so close to holiday that I will add this to my club 100%. Oh, my, for one, the purple's beautiful. Purple's a great color. This is heavenly. If you like plum scents, if you like nostalgic holiday, I feel like there's a tiny bit of homestead holiday in here. It has that, that quintessential holiday fragrance in there. But adding the plums and the berries, this is so pretty. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, I already have a favorite. And I haven't even finished smelling them. <gasps> oh, it's beautiful. Okay. If you like Nest Holiday, sugar plum berry, sign yourself up. All right. I'm saving this for last because this might take first place. So we have the two new fragrances. Frosted White Pine right here. It's a green wax. Pine Needles Crisp Greens Shiver in Winter Air. Oh, this is not what I expected. Oh, this is not anything that I expected. Okay, this is interesting. When I hear crisp greens, I think of like a salad, like crisp iceberg lettuce. It doesn't smell like that. But it does smell green. It's weird. The first thing I think of when I smell this is those trees that have like lots of fluff on them. Like, they're, like, they, like, are droopy, and there's so much, like, fluff, like fur. I don't, I don't know how else to describe it. And it's interesting, when it says shiver in winter air, there is a coldness to this. There is, like, a coolness that's not a peppermint, but, like, an ozonic, really fresh air. But it's really pretty. It's really pretty. This is not what I expected from this scent at all. I honestly was not expecting to like it because pine is not my favorite. But it's really pretty. If you like tree scents, but you like that freshness, this is bringing that cold winter air in without opening the windows, obviously, when it's like 10 below. This is really pretty. Yeah. This is another... This is a good, it's really cold outside. You have nowhere to go. The news is like, there's snow. There's a cold advisory. If you don't need to leave your house, please don't. I won't. And I will be popping this in the warmer. This is totally that cold winter air fragrance. So pretty. Definitely shocked. Now, the one that I am most excited about is Caramel Praline cake. All right. Bakery lovers are not as happy with Scentsy this season because there's not as many bakery fragrances. So they're adding them in these limited time offers, which is fine because you can just add it to your club if you like the fragrance and you can continue to get it forever and ever and always. Because I've heard this is very similar from Brett and Brad that this is similar to almond croissant. It's not the same. Don't bring the daggers for me because you get it and you're like, this doesn't smell anything like almond croissant. But almond croissant is not in my club. And I have three bars of almond croissant left that I'm saving for, I don't know what, but whenever I'm feeling like I need almond croissant and I know it's going to be gone for my stash, that's when I'll melt it. So caramel praline cake. Sweet praline and a splash of buttery vanilla covered in caramel drizzle. My nose is ready. Okay. Okay. I can totally see the comparison to almond croissant. Absolutely. 100% I can see the comparison. But you know what you really get in here? Caramel. And like a really buttery caramel. And okay, I'm going to give you guys a picture. Remember a few years ago, it was like all the rage. Those caramel apple lollipops, they were like that pooly, like taffy-like lollipop. Almost like as you started to lick it, it got really soft and you could like chew it. 
and the caramel on there was so buttery. And I hate to say artificial when I talk about a scent, but that like artificial caramel, but it tastes so delicious. That's the caramel I'm getting on the background here. Like that real rich, thick, artificially colored caramel color. Like this color is the caramel. And then you're getting that rich butter, like a really rich butter. You totally get a butter note in here. As far as praline, it's just adding this nutty gourmand to this. This is so pretty. This is so pretty. Now, I actually just watched Elizabeth from Elizabeth Scenes and Scents video as I was filming, as I was getting ready to film. I was running errands and had her on in the car. And then I saw a comment and she said it's not throwing that well. I'm not even going to touch this for a while. I'm probably just going to let it sit for a month at least before I melt it. These are probably freshly poured bars since they're early access. And I've noticed a lot of the early access bars, if you melt them early, the throw is not as great as if you let them sit. And especially bakery and vanilla-based bars, I feel like they need a little bit of time to marinate in their clamshell and just really, really develop before you melt them. So I'm going to save this because I want this to be incredible. Uh, and also shout out to Elizabeth. She is incredible. I love her videos. She is so cute. I actually have, spoiler, the fragrance flowers to talk about after this, and she put one in her hair. I don't have hair to do that, but she is just so cute and adorable. Okay. This was pretty easy. My least favorite, Peppermint Rush. It's not bad. I just don't love peppermint scents. So that's why she is in last place. Number four, Frosted Winter Pine. I don't always go for pine scents, but it was very pleasant. It surprised me. Then number three, Homestead Holiday. I really like it. It would be higher, but my Sugar Plum Berry. Yeah, like I said, if you didn't have the candle right next to you to compare, you would think this smells like Nest Holiday, like almost exactly. And then number one, Caramel Praline Cake. Beautiful. Available on my website or your consultant's website November 1st, but I'm sure you'll hear me talk about them way before that. It's only the 12th. So definitely pick this up. And last but not least, I, okay, so spoiler alert, the way it works for consultants, I have a party that I keep running on my YouTube channel. And whenever customers place orders through that link, I use the half off and product credits that I get to purchase product, I film it here to review for you guys. So the more that you order from my website and my party, the more content I can put out for you guys. So when I went to order these, I was not ready to close out my party because I still had a couple orders that were going to come in that I knew that I wanted to add the credit. But I was worried that these fragrance flowers were going to sell out really quick. So I did a three pack of fragrance flowers. Now, if you're like, what's a fragrance flower? You don't really talk about fragrance flowers on here. I know. I missed out on the sunflower. I didn't get any sunflowers. I got an order in for a friend, but I didn't get any for myself. So when I saw these, I knew I had to. And I think Sensi realized how fast those sold out. I mean, those sunflower fragrance flowers sold out so fast. They are coming back very soon, but whenever they do... I'm snatching them up because I'm going to put them away for next fall. They're so pretty. And when I saw these, like I said, I had to. So you can bundle them. You can get one for 16 or three for 45 So I picked up all three of the holiday fragrances. We have Vanilla Barnwood, which is like this comforting vanilla, little Fruit Loopy fragrance. Cranberry Candy Cane, one of my favorites for the holiday. And Sleigh Ride, which it's like a quintessential tree holiday fragrance. So I picked up those three, and they actually are shipping the oils and the flowers separately now. I think it's for inventory purposes, they said, so they can make more. Not 100% sure, but if you've never used a fragrance flower, I'm not going to actually open it to use it, but I'm going to show you what they look like. So you open the box here, and there's going to be a little cap, some paper, pull it open, and here's your bottle of oil. 
Now it'll tell you the fragrance name on the bottom, Sleigh Ride. You're gonna pop open this plastic, unscrew the black cap and screw the decorative silver one on. And then you're gonna take what's inside this box, which is the magic. If you're familiar with reed diffusers, these work the same way, but they're a whole lot cuter. So we have our poinsettia. Look at how pretty that is. Now, if you say that looks like wood, that's because it is wood. Just like a reed diffuser are wooden reeds, these are a wooden flower. So there's this little piece of paper. Do you see that on the end there? Little piece of paper, you just wanna remove that and then stick it in the jar. That oil will soak up this fragrance flower and it'll start to darken and saturate the flower slowly emitting fragrance into the air. I think I'm gonna put one here for decoration whenever I change this for the holidays, and then I'm gonna put one in my bathroom. They are so pretty, and I have heard that these new designs with like the colors are incredible performers. They last about, I think they say they're supposed to last 60 days, but people get way more use out of them. So I'm very excited to have the holiday scents. I might pick up another one depending, but I know I'm going to get the fall ones whenever those launch. So if you like reed diffusers, but they're just not that cute to look at, to be honest, then you need to try the Scentsy Fragrance Flowers because they're just adorable. And I think this, this is $16. If you get it in the bundle and save, it's $15. I think it is a great little gift for someone who you just want to show their appreciation to for the holidays. You have two little boxes together and it's a cute present that they can keep out for a few months. And even if the oil's empty, they can still save the little unit and just have it as a little decoration. And then they can get more from you. So I think these are super cute. Now that's what I have for you guys today. So many launches as always. If you have any questions or you're excited of Sense of the Season, you've tried the fragrance flowers, how about the holiday bricks? Are you going to pick some of those up? Leave them down below. I love chatting with you guys. As always, make sure you're subscribed. Hit that bell. That way you're alerted every time I upload a video here on YouTube. Make it a better world and be kind. I love you all so much. Bye, guys.